Chris's Caravan Diary is sponsored by Caravan. Interior makeovers for your caravan, motorhome and RV. Today we're back at Great Yarmouth's Racecourse Caravan Club site. Last time we had a look at this popular site and this time around we're going to have an afternoon at the races and it's all within very easy meandering distance. The racecourse itself is a big modern facility with two big grandstands for us ordinary racegoers and a large premier price stand too with hospitality suites and a large restaurant. It all comes to life once the gates are open and we can all get in. Once you've got your bearings you can find your way to the paddock to watch the horses walking round and make a judgement or two about which horse is going to lose a pound or two for you. It's fascinating to watch the horses themselves, the owners and the jockeys and even more fascinating to look at the other people and catch odd snatches of conversations about racing. Did that man really know which horse will win? There's someone picking up their winnings, so it's time for a chat with Racecourse General Manager Glenn Tubby. We have a really, really good relationship with the Caravan Club. Um, the site operates from the beginning of um, April, which is when we start racing, right through till the end of October, which is when we finish racing. Every time we race, the Caravan Club site is full. And um, yes, we have a really good relationship because the land in the centre course isn't really much use for anything else other than maybe golf or a caravan site and uh, we're lucky enough at Yarmouth to have both. It's quite a busy site here at Yarmouth because apart from the race course, Yarmouth is a busy tourist town as well and you've got the beach 500 yards away. So really, um, for a caravaner to come to this site, everything is literally at their fingertips and they can have a really good time here and um, they haven't got to travel far, so it's, it's a great venue. We do half price admission for both enclosures, that's Premier and the Grandstand and Paddock, for the uh, Caravan Club members, so um, that's a good discount for them, and uh, most of them do take advantage of it. If I'm going to place a bet, I've read the race card, that's a, that's a nice name, what do I do from there? Right, well basically you've got a choice. You can bet on the pitch bookmakers, mm -hmm. which um, are the gentlemen you've seen with the, the stands out in front of the grandstand. Now basically they're offering you a value on their opinion of the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a human being deciding that's the price I'm going to offer you. The other option is you can go to the tote. Now the tote is computer controlled betting and the odds with the tote are determined about where the money is being placed and a computer program works out what the odds will be. So you've got two options, um, both of which are very easy to bet with, although I do appreciate that some people find the whole betting experience a little bit um, off-putting, but um, my advice is to ask somebody, everyone's really helpful, break the ice, stick your toe in the water, have a go and uh, just set yourself a limit. You know, there's, there's always um, an issue around betting on horses or greyhounds etc. But my advice to everybody is know what your budget is for the day, set um, a fixed amount per race and then come and enjoy it. You might win, you might lose, but if you set your budget beforehand then you, you've enjoyed your day out. So that's our day. We enjoyed seven races out of the afternoon's card of eight in dry weather. Then everyone got caught by a short, sharp downpour for the last. But by then, we were drinking tea in the caravan. See you soon.
Chris's Caravan Diary was sponsored by Caravan, interior makeovers and soft furnishings for your caravan, motorhome and RV. Find us at www.caravan.org or call us on 0121 458 112.